All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. All right, double honors to the apostles. It was a great millstone, and Sausage Brothers doing this thing in sincerity, in truth, and with charity. First and for, for uh, well, firstly, Yahweh is named Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name, Ba'en Hadasham name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the begotten son. And Racha Quadash means Holy Spirit, literally translated as Spirit Holy. Racha Spirit, Quadash Holy. And um, how do I word this? Well, basically, you know, this lesson is to, like the scriptures say, give honor to the, I believe it says, we bestow more honor on the least commonly parts. I believe that's how it's worded. I'm going to grab the scripture, Lord willing. But, um, you know, <sighs> we got uh, some young men, and specifically I was talking about these two brothers, uh, Iwalamia and, K and Kadashia. You know, and this is a little screenshot I post in the bishop's room, you know, to the elders in the camp. You know, they made a new list because, you know, we have certain tasks. We got certain tasks to make sure we uh strive in the spirit, exhorting daily. And one of them is the precept of the day, you know, brother post the precept or question have it works out, you know, just operate in the group together in the spirit with edification in the scriptures coming out. They made a new list, you know, you got to make a new list when somebody's added to the body or if somebody removes themselves from the body. Um... And then they had a test, you know, they gave a mandatory video to watch. It was the breakdown to Revelation 6 from uh, GMS Vault. You know, old, you know, older video breakdown from the Apostles. And then he's making sure that the brother Zerubel, you know, goes. It's his day to go and kick it off, the precept of the day. And brothers precept that, you know, that's one of the tasks. But I've been watching and seeing how these two men, in fact, let me pull them up. That was like Iowa Lamia right there. Which is this brother here? All right, shuttle, shuttle this is his channel, this GMS is Power One Four Four. Chicago branch. You, you know, know. In Chicago. First and foremost, I want to give all praise. Uh, and this channel here, GMS Wise and Serpents, is the other brother Kadasha's channel. You know, they're the co-heads of the disciples. You know, part of the rank. You know, you got disciples, level one, level two, which are the new brothers. You know, and the new brothers that advanced. Then, over, then you have two men that's directly over them, two younger brothers, but mature brothers in the spirit that oversees that. Then it works its way up to, you know, bishops and the, the elder bishops. But these, they really take their task serious. Other brother right here, Kadashi right here. Pull up a video. Now, I know he got another one. I seen another video he had on here. That you, that I know. Oh, here we go. It'll keep his face on the screen so you can see the brother. You know? And it's the brother Kadashi. All right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hakadash. The ones unto the apostles and the elders of the all right. I hope this video is getting picked up on. I forgot to turn the Bluetooth off, but yeah, these young men are being proper examples, you know, to the uh, other young men, you know, the men that's under them, you know, and hell, just proper examples, period, of being in the truth, man, you know, because that type of th you know, seeing young men like that, you know, um. It's comforting through the spirit, man. That's part of the reward, actually. This is 1 Corinthians 9. And 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. We must preach the gospel. This is our salvation, our mercy right here. All right? To not preach is death. To preach is life. Simple. And of course, you preach the gospel, you got to live the gospel. Here and doors. 
For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. If the flesh feeling weak, you know, and, this is, and it may not want to do it, guess what? That fear keeps us going because we have an office to do. We are already willing through the Spirit, and that's what we live by and walk by as the Spirit. So we're willing, but the, say the flesh is tweaking one day, and it's, you got a battle. You know, whatever the case may be. We know that we got a duty to do this work, a dispensation. The management of a household or of household affairs, specifically the management, oversight, administration of others' property, the office of a manager or overseer, stewardship, you know, administration, dispensation. So we have to do this, you know. <laughs> we got the office. We heard what happens to the to the slothful steward or the the steward that lose faith, that get impatient, you know. What is my reward then? Verse 18. What is my reward then? Barely that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of my shiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, Salah, so yeah, have I made my, uh, myself for though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. For though I be, uh, so like it, and unto the Jews, I was reading down to make sure I was in the right spot, yeah. And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to the under, that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To so them that are without law, as... As without loss, he, you know, he he was more looser around the 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 newcomers, the Gentiles. All right, that was crossing over, right? But then he makes it clear, being not without law to the Mosiah, but under the law to Mashiach. So he ain't saying he just was eating swine and the wickedness, man. He was more loose, understanding the grace that's bestowed upon us. He wasn't being over righteous. To the weak became I as weak, that I might, might gain the weak. I am, I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. All right? So every, the labor we're doing, the, the breaking bread, the dealing with these other men, you know, overseeing the flock, edifying the body. All right? That's part of the reward, man. That's part of the gospel. All right? Making a, uh, uh, giving the gospel free course. And for what reason? To gain these men. You know? Second Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may, may have free course. And be glorified even as it is with you. So, you know, Paul is just pushing the word for the sake of the gospel. Not to get paid. All right. It's for the gospel to go and prosper. To do what? To, to uh, 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 so the Lord can be glorified, man. And these other men that wake up. That's beautiful. Seeing other men serve our power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And strive for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai lawfully. You know, Second Corinthians four and thirteen. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he was right. So that's how we show our faith. Faith without works is dead. Knowing that he was raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai, shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai, and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redounds the glory of Yahweh. So, you know, the men waking up, all right, according to this labor that we're partaking in, man, give thanks to, the, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's glory to you, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, these men give that thanks and, and you know do the work, of course, for the for the grace 
for the mercy, but also to give thanks to the Heavenly Father. So the Lord can be glorified, man. Our Lord is saving us. You, hey, look, when I heard this word, and, and it's even still now, you know, but... Yeah, just even still now, not not a past tense thing, but when you get you hear when you hear this word and you're getting this truth, all right. We're thankful to how Bashmi Al Shaf waking us up, man. We're thankful that the Lord has called us to handle His word, man. All right, to give us a shot at this grace. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And as the scriptures say, we endure all things for the elect's sake. So that's part of the reward, man. The elect waking up and, and getting into the fight, man. Giving glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, man. So yeah, let me grab the uh, I'll I'll cheat, I'll cheat, <laughs> sir. <laughs> This is First Corinthians. Twelve. And. I'm going to start at one. Not concerning. <laughs> not concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. You know, so this gives the definition of Gentiles. When Israelites followed after idols, all right, we were as Gentiles. Psalms 96 and 5. All right. Shalom, brother. I'm doing a lesson. Shalom. Uh, Kwam is too. Shalom. Sorry about that. Shalakia. Um, yeah, Psalm 96 and 5. Wherefore I give you, not actual heathens, man. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of Yahweh called the Yahweh Shai curse, and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord but, but by the Holy Ghost. <laughs> now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations. But it is the same power which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So every man has his lot. Every man has his gifts. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. And I believe that the, the elder brother Itas Waman Atlanta got that gift. You know, to another, the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits. I witness Jeremiah. Hey, look, that brother Jeremiah is great at discerning spirits. We teach him one day. You know, um, we teach him outside and a guy walks up. He's standing there. Didn't say nothing. He finally uh, get ready to ask a question. Murph immediately cussed him out. Now, I didn't say nothing. You know, at this time, Merv was in, my, you know, we split up the camps. Merv was in my camp. I didn't say nothing. I thought like, damn, that was harsh. That was quick. But the spirit had me not say nothing and just, and just dealing the spirit. You know, just dealing the spirit. Just, hey, just like Jacob, when Joseph told the dream, the brothers was mad. But Jacob, you know, he pondered upon it. So I just took note. Then dude finally got to speak. And he said, oh, then he ended up saying, that's why I left the truth. I say, that's why Merv cussed him out. He read his spirit, man. So, hey, we see these different gifts. To another, discerning of spirits. So, I'm going to start at 10 at the top. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, 
That's Murph. Hit message me right now. <laughs> That's crazy. To another working of miracles. So it does a spirit. To another. Let me start over. Bear with me. I'm excited. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But all these work of that one and the self same spirit divides every man severally as he will. You know, we got older brothers, younger brothers, brothers that just just phenomenal at the prophecies. You can, you can quote it and they know it. Off top, don't got a refresh in the history, really, you know. Keep going, hey, just different gifts. Elder, Elder Malcolm, he's, man, look, that history is like, it's like, like he just know he just, it's like he knows it for a recount, right, off top. Like he opens the book up and it pops out, he can piece it all together, man. This go with this time and that over here and it just, it's, it's wild. It's one of his gifts. For us to, hey, some brother's gift is to uh, exalt one another. You know? Whatever it is, we edify each other. There's no big eyes, little use. Yes, we have men above us, of course. All right? But there's no big eyes, little use, man. As the saying goes, still men over us, man. Not a proud thing. We don't despise men that may seemingly be under us. No, those men are important. But you're going to get to that. Yeah, those men motivate men that's been around for a little bit of time. To see the fruit of the Lord, you know, prosper. That's reward. That's what it is. To see the fruit. That Corinth we read, to see the fruit of you, how about how I shall prosper is a reward, man. Um, oh, I was I so lucky. Bear with me. So I'm gonna check this scripture out. Give me one second. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, that's our reward, man. You know, send his word prosper to see the men, to see elect men wake up, you know, and being able to hope to get the same salvation as them. Let's keep going. Verse 11, but all these work of that one and the self same spirit divides every man severally as he will. For as the body is one, has many members. And all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Mashiach. For by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. We already broke down what the Gentiles are. Whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. <laughs> Without your feet, you wouldn't be able to walk. So the feet is just as important as the hands. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now had the most I set the members, every one of, the, of them in the body as it had pleased them. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. So we, we, there's, no puff, there's no puffed upness to the brethren. Hey, the apostles, I remember the first time, uh, I believe it was the first time, but I, I remember with Apostle Ram, like, you know, we, we see these men 
Yo, we see these men online and teaching, and not only teaching, they teaching the word of the Heavenly Father. These are superstars, us. And they actually, you know, the brotherhood period are superstars in real life. Y'all, man, are superstars. The world don't know it yet. But the Lord's elect, <laughs> our joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay? But, you know, we, we, we happy to see him. You know, we express that excitement. And and not him only. The, uh, the other apostles express, you know, express the same thing. They, they're, they're excited to see th their fruit. They're excited to see us. As, as, as we were excited to see them, they probably was more excited to see us. Real talk, man. The apostles wasn't puffed up against the brothers at all. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet. I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are necessary. And, you know, the brother lawyer, we were talking, you know, from Miami, we were talking on the phone uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. I believe it was yesterday, actually. And um, he asked a question, you know, to Chicago, you know, this is, this is a a few brothers here in Chicago. You know, he's the head of his camp. He asked, he, he said, how do you all manage so many men? You know? And the answer I gave to him, I quoted this sec, you know, the uh, section of the scriptures about the, uh, I, I roughly quoted about, um, the feeble, like it says here, the feeble parts are more necessary. All right, and I told him, you know, the more abundant honor to that part was left. I, I roughly paraphrased though; that was the gist of what I was saying. Was this scripture here? And I mentioned those younger brothers, like the ones I mentioned earlier. The the men that's under and take the office seriously and and oversee the flock as we're commanded. Being examples uh, uh, to the flock of the believers, even these younger men. That's how. I told them that's how these younger men, hey, these other men be on it. Of course, we, we, hand, uh, hey, we hands on. But nobody can be everywhere at all times and do this and handle that. No. Moses had to get what? The 70? Uh, I believe it was the 70. I believe it was 70. I could have misquoted it. Alright, I believe it was seven, but he had the other elders under him. Then there were top men of each tribe, princes, you know, that 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 body works together. Alright? So that's how. Of course we have our class days. We do all, we know we do all those things. So we deal with the brothers. Of course we deal with the brothers. That's what made King David beloved. They say he went in and out amongst the people. But those young men are big help. The, the, the deacons, you know, which is right under the bishops. Then we got, you know, ranks under that. And they all do their part. Even amongst the disciples, we got the two co-head disciples. And they, they be on it. And that's what I was showing in the beginning. I was, you know, give, putting a little basically a report, you know, because wa we watch and I'm like, look, these young men be on it, man. And I got to mention Kodar, too. He's uh, a rank above the disciple, the, the head disciples. But he still, you know, is, is very interactive with them, man. You know, and putting that spirit of fire out there. Hey, the Friday, you let the young men play series. You know, he uh, the, the spirit hopped on him to get that going. To, to just put a call out to let's go out and teach, you know, it was it's a disciples camp day. It's the younger man's camp day, you know. Now of course they need an older brother out there because we go brothers go live and make sure the doctrine is on point. Even though they be tight with the doctrine, but we we still keep order. So the uh, older brothers, you know, at least one go out there with them each week. Okay, but that spirit was on him through that 
to keep other younger brothers in the fire too, which keeps older brothers in the fire too, because we we a body, we move together. No man got on. They, they did. Hey, let says that another man praise thee. So in the way, he's praising these young men, but it, at uh, Lord willing, edifies the body because the point is, hey, let no man despise thy youth. Look, we we not we not the apostles. All right, we not. Hey, we got elders in the camps that we're not, we're not even them. Then there's men under you, and, and then you can be the last, hey, the last brother that's in the camp. There's still men watching you, man, and. Your office, your lot is important to the body. There's men on the outside that's watching you. That's learning from you. So don't take it lightly. That hey, we're being used to repair the breaches of old. Hey, we're being used to repair the breach. To restore the past of old, man. Place to dwell in. Hell, a, a brother that just transitioned in, you know, is more fresh out the world, is more relatable to another brother that's trying to come in and get understanding. The balanced order is perfect. We all go into milk, of course, desire to sense some milk, but a younger brother is, is only going into milk. And a hungry soul that's just waking up. Needs all and only milk. So it's something that we haven't touched on. Hey, a young young brothers, I'm sure it's a young brother right now that just did a video on proving that ain't nothing wrong with cursing in the scriptures. According to the scriptures, they hit the 2 Corinthians 11 and 6, you know, brought the classic scripts. The classic scripts. Yahweh shot upbraided the people, you know. All, all of that, man. When it's probably went into the, the definition and the uh the Zondervans curse is the, means the opposite of to bless. But I can't remember the last time Apostle the Heart touched on that. I can't remember the last time Elder Malcolm, Elder Ryan touched on a, that topic. But a younger brother, because these are things you know that's needed and, and, and gotta go out, and it's milky. All right. Of course, we all do the milk. I ain't. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm definitely not the, uh, an apostle like that on one of these other upper elders. So I'm. Not, it's not a puffed up thing. It's just. It's a balance. You, uh, the more you win, you're going to touch on different things and meet. And your lot may be exhortation. So you're going to do more exhortation. You may not have touched on what the Sabbath is and how to prove the new moon and how to keep the Sabbath. You may haven't done that in a year. A younger brother's going through all the milks. He's learning, you know, and that he that water's water to himself. So he's teaching, he's gaining more knowledge. He's gonna show forth what he's learned. So the you is very the young men are very important, man. Don't despise that your youth. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members, even, you know, brothers that may seem weaker, but they fight and they faith is shown because they like that. They may seem weak, but they going through heavy battles and they overcome those battles through their faith. All type of weird battles. But, you know, they're very important to the body because they've gone through shit they can help comfort other brothers with. Other brothers that's battling. Being an example of a fucking true fighter, an example of faith. When I think of a great example of faith, all the brothers, because the brothers aren't doing the teaching. But I really think about the brother Matazi Wayanya, or Mataz as we call him. You know? From the very first, literally the first day he walked, me, him, and Arala, he walked with us from the place we met him at. We went there early, waited outside in the line in the fucking cold. It was around Christmas time. He heard me in the raw lot fishing. All right. And ever since then, he came and sat with us. He talked to us while we was waiting there to handle our business. When we left, you know, we all left together. He came straight back to our house. Broke bread. The very next class that he was there, he ain't, he ain't left since. 
And then the different trials he deal with, he just keeps showing his faith. And he'll be, be certain shit, you know, be down, but he just let him just keep, I know Lord God, just keep going. That's real, man. That's important, man. To see men like that, that's important. For our comely parts have no need, but the most I have timbered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. That there should be no, so it's a balance. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. All right. Uh, let me grab that first Timothy four and twelve. Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So, of course, you know, learn it, dive into it. All right. And be an example of what, what it means to be in his truth, you know. Neglect not the gifts that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. And that word presbytery means order of the elders. We all got, got this uh, uh, gift that's in us because we heard it. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Get off your fucking high horse. We learn this word from men. Do the spirit of power you have by showing me how it shy. All right. We, it's, it's not man that's working. It's a spirit that's working in these men. St. John 6, 63. What are they speaking? The word, man. This word is spirit. Simple. Je Jeremiah 315. But that's another topic. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. The, the, you know, the uh, outsiders see and look and see a difference in, 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 in these young men. These ain't, these ain't regular young men. All right. These men got sense. They see that. All right. Take, take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and then to hear thee. And this is where it sparked me first mentioning those brothers. The care that they had for the doctrine and making sure that their brethren, the rest of the flock, had the understanding. It's fighting and, thri and thriving and striving in the truth. Getting breakdowns. All right, how they, they exhort one another, all of that, man. And I marveled at it, man. Because that's a beautiful thing. I'm ending with this. Lord willing. This is Psalm 127 and 5. Uh, 127 and 3. Lo, children are in heritage of Yahweh, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. <laughs> Children are like arrows, man. Children are our weapons. Send these men defend the gospel, fight against, uh, speak against Esau and, and take him down with this word. I'm going to make sure I phrase it right. Esau trying to trap us up right now, you know. Even though he won't prevail, Lord God, it's Job 5. All his shit is going to fail and we won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, send these men, stand, that's a better, for, even better phrase. Stand boldly in the face of Esau, man. Condemning them. Standing stiffly for Naomi Howe by Shimmy Howe was shy. All right. Because let's call it what it is. We have spiritual fathers on, over us. And, we, and the man that's been around and been teaching, you have spiritual sons under you. All right. And the younger, oh, however it works out, whether it's to the, the men that's over us or the men that's under un, under us as far as rank go, okay, in order, for order's sake, 
All right, the younger are, are the children. The younger are uh, arrows, weapons. The older have taught us, sharpened us up, put us together to be these sharp arrows, and now we out here doing what? T uh, taking down the, the, these strongholds, men. Happy is the man that had this quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed. And I'm happy to see these young men fighting and, 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 and striving the truth for the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Overseeing the flock. I'm charged. They shall not be ashamed. But they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. And we seeing these men do that, man. And, hey, and we're doing it together. Fighting for this salvation, man. Call halal and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. And Southridge Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom, Baba Ball.